here on the tech show floor at South by Southwest. There are a lot of companies who've paid thousands and thousands of dollars to be here in order to get eyeballs on their latest products and services. I wanted to find out what are the big crowd pleasers here at South by Southwest this year? All right, these people over here are checking out a device called Beam, and this is sort of interesting. It's teleconferencing on wheels. The person who's on the other side of this teleconference is able to actually control her movements. What's the point? I can do like site tours, like factory inspections. I can really be there without actually being there. So, what are these people looking at? I'm sexy. Well, it's a dancing robot from Move Music. People seem to be a lot more interested in the robot than they are in what Move is about. What if you want to use a 3D printer, but you can't afford one, you just want to rent one? You're putting in 3D printers and laser cutters in the cafe settings, allowing like, designers to be a lot more accessible to these prototyping machines. Fab Cafe actually started in Shibuya, Tokyo. They're looking for local partners that wanted to open up a Fab Cafe all over the globe in their own cities. What about technology for other people here whose cell phones are running out of juice? Well, there's a device called GoPuck, and you gotta be careful how you say it, but GoPuck, according to the owner, can charge up an iPhone five times, and you can buy it for 70 bucks on Amazon. Got two other things worth mentioning from outside this convention hall and the tents that are outside. One is the Leap Motion Controller. A lot of buzz about that. I heard about it on Twitter, had to go check it out. This is a device that actually uses your finger to control a game that's on the screen. For example, you can play the game Fruit Ninja using chopsticks. AutoCAD, the maker of software for design and architecture, is also getting some attention. They're letting people make their own little plastic monsters. First you design it on an iPad, then you send it over to their 3D printer. About 20 minutes later, you get your monster in plastic form. Are there any crowd displeasers here on the floor? Well, this guy probably qualifies. He's here to represent a company that does cloud computing. Yikes. From the floor of the tech showcase at South by Southwest, I'm Jason Bullini for the Wall Street Journal.